Southwest Michigan Planning Commission, Marcy Hamilton. I'm going to be talking about the Ox Creek, which is that last slide that he showed where I uh, fell into Ox Creek when we took a little paddle on it. But Ox Creek is obviously up in Southwest Michigan. It's part of the St. Joe River and up near Benton Harbor at the end of the watershed. Why Ox Creek? It is our worst stream in Southwest Michigan. It is our most polluted stream in Southwest Michigan. Doesn't meet water quality standards, as Kevin said. It's because of stormwater flow is a flashiness, which we talked about earlier today. This watershed, uh, the eastern part of it, it only drains about 16 uh, square miles. It's all ag here, and then it's all urban up to Benton Harbor. Um, we're going to focus our project on this area right off of I-94 called the Orchards Mall. If you're from Indiana, you may not know where that is. I apologize, but it's kind of our major retail hub in southwest Michigan. And as you can see, a lot of impervious surface. This subwatershed has 34% impervious surface. So what we know from that is once a watershed starts approaching 10% impervious surface, it starts degrading stream health. This is a creek in a watershed that has 5%. This is 30%, which we're at with Ox Creek. On this slide, we're showing our project area, which is 315 acres. These blue areas have some stormwater treatment. The other areas, 70% of this does not. It's not treated at all. It just goes into the drain and right up to the creek. We have a parking, not a parking problem, we have a parking lot problem. Um, this is mired after the day after Thanksgiving, <coughs> Black Friday. The red is showing how much of that parking lot is being used. Look at all that unused parking lots. So we're embarking on this project to um, not only improve water quality, but also improve, this is a dining mall. And so we're looking to green it up to make it more of a place people want to invest in India. So we've engaged business owners and stakeholders and have been going through a visioning process where we, these are kind of our main things. We want to manage our water, run off better to improve Ox Creek, but also other things we want to do, revitalize the mall and have better pedestrian and bike access. We're in our first phase. Here's Two Rivers Coalition, who you just heard from, and our partner, of course. And um, we're working to start to address some of these water quality issues. This is what we're going to do, low impact development, green infrastructure, which we've already heard about so much today. Again, instead of putting that water right into this river drain and out to the creek, slow it down, spread it out, soak it in as much as possible. So we've started working. Um, Whiteman is a local engineer. They're uh, just near this project area on Pipestone here. Yeah. They removed um, 3,500 square feet of pavement and installed a rain garden. Um, and they're working to now treat that. Now we're moving over to the Orchards Mall. This is a redevelopment plan of what that mall could look like. Pervious pavement, water, places for water to go. Um, and across the street, we're working with a Dodge dealership. So in this, in the Orchards Mall property, there's a parking lot we're kind of watering and gathers outside of J.C. Penney here, and we're going to remove 46,000 square feet of pavement and put in kind of almost like what will look like a wetland system there for the water to filter. Across the street at the Dodge dealership, uh, Chrysler Dodge, we're going to remove 8,000 square feet of pavement and put in four rain gardens. They back right up to the creek back here, so we're going to put a big infiltration basin behind their place. So. We're going to end up treating, with those two projects alone, 30 acres that aren't being treated at all right now to reduce the sediment, nitrogen, phosphorus. And of course, what we really then will too is by improving the aesthetics, make it greener, that will help attract more development and investment in this area. We're also very fortunate that MDOT is getting ready to redo the interchange at I-94 and Pipestone. They're going to be um, realigning this off-ramp. We're going to take that opportunity to build um, a water feature in there to help slow down the water. In the future, we're starting discussions with Meyer, Home Depot, and Celebration Cinemas, working out how they can install green infrastructure into their parking lots when, they, when it's time for them to redo those parking lots. And then for long-term sustainability, we're working with the township to try to get all of this visions of the mall area into their master plan and um, also work with them on their, especially their parking standards and just that parking lot problem that they have. And look, I end up with a picture of Kevin on Knox Creek here at the end of mine. I even have definitely all of them. But um, so 
when I got started this project, it was really overwhelming, the worst wooded creek. Uh, but it took us 50 years to get here to where it's so bad, so it's going to take a few years for us to turn it around, but we're well on our way. 